How do you sell your home when you have pets? I'm going to give you five tips coming up. Hey y'all, Amy Allwall here with Keller Williams Realty here in Northern Kentucky. So this is a very common question home sellers ask us that are going, getting ready to list their house for sale. Number one, do a whole house walkthrough with a friend, have a neutral party or a family member that is a non-pet owner. Come over and go through your house to look for any wear and tear and urine or pet odor. You need someone who will be transparent, tell you the truth, and not worry about hurting your feelings. When you live with pets, you may get used to how the house smells, and a buyer that does not have animals in the home will for sure pick up on any smells. Number two, deodorize. And I don't mean getting out the Febreze or lighting a candle. It's probably gonna make it worse and really turn a buyer off. If you have carpet and it's older, I consider replacing it. In some cases, if it's really bad, you may have to get to the subfloor and get the urine smells out. If that does not pertain to you, then really deep cleaning it. There's all kinds of pet stain eliminator for your carpet shampooer. Number three, repairs. Anything that might have been damaged by your pets while they've been living there. Maybe the floors have been scratched. It's up to you, you need to get those refinished. It sounds crazy, but get, getting down on all fours and finding damage to the doors, tears in the carpet, smells, and damaged walls. Number four, get rid of the evidence. Giving Rover a bath more frequently during this time will help tremendously. Depending on what type of pet you have, you may have to vacuum more frequently. As in, if you have a golden retriever, you need to vacuum, vacuum about two times a day, morning and evening, couches, floors, everything. Get the poo poo scooper out. You need to keep on top of this. Every little poo, it needs to be out of sight. So walk your, walk your yard and then follow your pet closely. Have a place where everything can go during showings, like their food bowls, toys, bones, even the cat litter box could go under the sink, out of sight. And number five, have a place where your animals can go for a short stay. Even if it's only for the first week of showings, it's a good idea to book somewhere for your pet to stay, whether a pet suite, a kennel, or even a family or friend's house. You don't want a home buyer and their realtor to feel rushed because you have a dog in a crate barking at them the whole time. Not all buyers are pet lovers, I'm sorry. They could have allergies or you know they might keep their animals outside. You could be eliminating a large pool of home buyers by ignoring the facts. I'm Amy Allwell. I hope you found some helpful information from this video. Please subscribe below for more real estate topics, DIY, or community information. Thanks for watching.